Yeah, we wanted to provide an, uh, a platform, a cloud service, uh, on which the Dutch government is able to provide very quickly and very efficiently uh, new digital, digital services to the uh, citizens, to the companies and to the uh, government agencies and bodies. Uh, and, and to roll that out, make that available in a very good way. So we are using some components of the, the stack, like the ESB, the API manager, the, the, the gateway, uh, the identity server. So products like these we are using and we combine that with uh, certain other uh, applications and, and, and components. And together we have created uh, like a stack, like an environment that the customers can use. So we, we are combining the WSO2 products with some other standard products uh, in the market, open source. What we actually have achieved now is that we very quickly we can uh, provide uh, a tenant to, to a customer and they quickly can uh, develop applications and uh, the rolling out of the applications across the environment is now very very easily done and it's it's a major uh, benefit with respect to costs uh, with respect to security we have been able to set up a lot of things because the Dutch government uh, has very strict uh, security requirements and we can uh, implement these with the use of the, the products of uh, WSO2 And also what we have noticed that uh, if certain uh, functionality isn't there available in the product, um, so we contact the engineers from WSO2 and then they, they will implement it in the, in, in the main uh, product. So that's very helpful for us. Um, also because we, we, jo yeah, we, we prefer to have like a partner uh, relationship. And that's what we notice with WSO2. It's more like they are they, your partners, and that uh, helps a lot for us to uh, to get better uh, product, a better service. But probably also for WSO2, there's some other functionality is added to the to the core of the, the components. So it's like a win-win situation. I would advise just um, get in contact with, with uh, WSO2 and probably you, you could start up uh, with, with some kind of proof of concept and just explore what is there um, and what, what is the company like and then you will see if it's matching with, yeah, with your own way of working and your own technical uh, needs.